Hello, everyone. I am Dave the Prayer Guy. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. I hope that is an encouragement to you. And if this one is, feel free to check out my other videos on my channel. I um, greatly appreciate any um, support that you can have. And, and basically, all you got to do to support me is watch these videos and be encouraged and then go out and feel God's mission with prayer. And speaking of fueling God's mission with prayer, that is my vision. That is my ministry. So I do a lot of teaching about that. I encourage others. I lead it. I engage in missional prayer, fueling to God, fueling God's mission with prayer. That is who I am about. And that's why I have these videos to really encourage people to do that. So we are now um, in the season of Lent. Um, this is kind of my third video for how does Lent remind us how to pray for God's mission. I have a video on Ash Wednesday. Last week, I have a video out uh, posted about um, prayer as one of the pillars of Lent. And this week, we're going to talk about another pillar of Lent, and it is sacrifice. So sacrifice. And of course, the first sacrifice, at least that comes to my mind, was the sacrifice of Jesus. I mean, that's Lent kind of leads up to Good Friday when Jesus willingly went to the cross to die for our sins, to die for the sins of the world to make atonement for believers, that Jesus died while we were still sinners. He didn't wait for us to figure it out on our own. He died while we were still sinners. And so that, that's a part of the mission is proclaiming that sacrifice, is letting people know about the sacrifice of Jesus. And so the pillar of sacrifice in Lent can remind us to pray that we will indeed share about the sacrifice of Jesus, the death of Jesus on the cross, that we will do it well, we, that we will you know, come alongside Jesus and say, hey, he made atonement for you. He made it possible for you to be a follower of Jesus. And, and so we can pray for our ability to do that. And not only did he allow himself on the cross, um, but the other sacrifice that he made was he left heaven. He left the comforts of his home and came to earth and he lived a life that wasn't very comfortable in some ways he chose the first century to come to share his love with the world and die on the cross during the first century he didn't choose the 21st century where we have these nice warm homes with great heating systems computers the internet he didn't have youtube so he couldn't use youtube to share his message but he kind of came at a, in a time in history where it was a little bit more difficult a little more i guess sacrificial um that he had to engage in order to share his love with others um and so this is just really a good he's just the best example of sacrifice and and in some ways there, and then, you know, in this day and age, there's so many things we can be doing um, to spend our time. We can be spending our time, I'm going to say it again, watching YouTube videos or Netflix or Disney Plus or sports or whatever. And so we can like kind of sacrifice our time and spend it with Jesus instead. And it'd be so much more rewarding if we remember to spend time with Jesus. So much more rewarding than than anything we'd watch on TV or the finest restaurants. But that we can actually ask God, ask Jesus to help us to live you know, a, a life of sacrifice like Christ did. So let's continue to pray and to really live like Jesus and ask Jesus to help us. Because really, a lot of his missional work was just living. I mean, he chose 12 guys to kind of hang out with. He could have, and that's basically all. He didn't spend his whole time just constantly proclaiming the gospel. He lived it out. And there's a sacrificial element to living out the gospel. So let's be asking God what we need to sacrifice. What are things in our life that we kind of need to give up in order to live more fully for him? Uh, so there's a song 
that has really spoken to me. It's the song Breathe. It's by Johnny Diaz. And there's one line in it. It's a very quick line. And I always am intentional to really make sure I pick it out because it's so important. And the line is, lay down what's good. All right, I'm going to pause there. Think about that. Lay down what's good. There's so many good things we could be spending our time with. Lay it down. Sacrifices. And then after you do that, find what's best. Lay down what's good and find what's best. Find what's best. What best is what God is calling you to. So pray, ask him, what is that? Listen to his voice. Ask him how you can fully live that out. How can you fully live out the gospel in front of others so others can be challenged in their thinking and in their thoughts and maybe make that decision become a disciple and pray that they will. Pray that they will become a disciple. Um, oh my goodness, I'm just getting really excited. I have so much notes here that... Uh, maybe I should just wrap it up because I'm already at six minutes. Um, lay down what's good and find what's best. And that line really has hit me between the eyes. And I want to live like that. I want to do only what is best. I want to lay down what's good and find what's best. The best God has for me. And, you know, it takes prayer. And I need to find out what God's desire is for me in my discipleship. And the part that he has for me in his mission. And I just encourage you so much. Lay down what is good and find what is best. Go with God. Be a part of his mission. Pray about it. Be what is best for you. You know, give your best to godly kingdom building activities with your family, with your church, with your friends, with your family. And share not only the gospel, but your life as well that Paul writes about in 1 Thessalonians. Um, we also need help to sacrifice because if we're honest, it isn't easy. We aren't good with sacrificing. We need the help of Jesus. So with God's power, we can do this to grow in our walk with him and to help others come and find faith in Jesus. Oh my goodness, this is a long video. Thank you so much for coming to the end. Maybe you didn't find it long. Maybe it just really encouraged you, and I hope it did. Um, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and as always, may the Lord be with you, and God bless.